Hello Libra, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Libra for January 15th through the 31st. <clears throat> but of course, all of my readings are timeless, so whenever you find them is when you're meant to see them and view them. Okay, if this video resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And of course, if this reading doesn't resonate, make sure to take your, a look at your moon and rising sign um, at certain times. Your moon or rising will resonate more. Okay, so Libra. What's going on with Libra? January 15th through the 31st. What's going on with Libra? What, what is their current energy? Be bold. Don't be afraid to stand out. Be your unique self, Libra. Your unique self will not steer you wrong. You know? I feel like <clears throat> this month is full of a lot of discoveries for you. I feel like you're really working on yourself. And we have cut the cords. So there may be something in your life that you need to release, Libra. Um, with this full moon that just went through on the 6th. No. Is it on? Yeah, on the, on the 7th. Um, there may be some things that you need to release, some feelings, people, um, things from your life, you know. Full moons are a time to release. Okay. What do we have for Libra for January 15th through the 31st? What do we have for Libra? January 15th through the 31st. Let's see what Tarot has to say. Okay, we have the chariot. So Libra, you could be moving. You're moving into something. The Knight of Wands. Your current energy is the Ten of Wands. So you're carrying a lot of priorities. You're carrying a lot of weight, Libra. The Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Wow, okay. So Libra, I really feel like you're trying to find the, your way. You're definitely trying to find your way. Um, this could be you physically moving into a new position, a new apartment, a new house. Um, but I feel like this is you trying to find that path that you want to go on with the, the Knight of Wands. Um, I feel like you're gaining your confidence with this Knight of Wands. This is always also you taking inspired action. This could have something to do with this this chariot card with moving. Um, you're focusing on your goals because I feel like you have a lot of goals. You have a lot of things that you're carrying. You're you're really you have a lot of things that need to be done. I feel like you're busy this month, Libra. Um, you're carrying a lot of weight. But I feel like you're focused and you're moving forward. You're taking action. But you also may be asking for help with this Queen of Swords. I feel like you're looking to someone for advice. You're looking to someone for the answers. You're, you're looking into all the resources that you have available in order to um, make the decisions you need to make. And I feel like the person that you're going to, they're going to give you honest answers. They're going to show you that the hard truth, you know. 
I feel like they're being honest with you, but they're also helping you through this situation. So this person may be helping you. But you also have the Seven of Swords. So I feel like there is someone around you who is being sneaky. Someone around you is being conniving. Someone wants something that you have. Um, it may be that... For some of you, and this is just intuitive, but I feel like someone is looking to repossess your car or repossess something from you. Something, you know, they're coming to take something. Something's going to be, well, they're going to try. Someone's going to try and take something. Let's take a look. <clears throat> the Eight of Wands. Now, I do feel like with this Eight of Wands, good news is coming. I feel like something that you've been working on, something that you've been putting a lot of attention to is coming through. You're going to receive good news. Um, and that's going to come through very quickly. Um, and I feel like it's going to open up new opportunities for you. Because you're kind of trusting that everything is going to work out. And I feel like because you trust so deeply that things are going to work out, that's when it does. That's when it does work out. The King of Cups. Okay. And this may be someone coming in to provide you help, compassion. Now this may also be a new love coming in for you because you have the Page of Cups right next to it. So this may be a new beginning in love for Libra. Uh, you also have the Moon. So. I feel like, yeah, things are going to change, but I feel like, Libra, you are finding your way. You're definitely finding your way. You're finding the, the path to where you need to go. You're trusting that you're going into the right direction. There may be, um, you know, a few snags here and there, but I feel like those are just minor things. I feel like whatever's coming is meant for you. And I feel like you're going to have that, you know. Um, I feel like whatever is coming is going to help you out a whole lot. Okay, let's clarify these. Let's clarify these. <clears throat> Spirit, tell me about the chariots. What's coming with the chariots? Okay, the five of swords. So you may be moving because there was conflict. There was some kind of argument with someone. So you may be physically moving to a new destination. And this may have been with this queen of cups energy. Um... But I feel like you're moving into a better situation. This is going to make you better equipped to deal with whatever. I feel like whatever you're moving to is in a better location, a better, you know. I feel like you're going to be closer, maybe closer to work. But I feel like it's going to work out. You have the King of Cups again. No, look, you have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Wow. Definitely new love coming in. Uh, the King of Cups on the Knight of Wands. Someone is moving in very quickly. This could be this King of Cups here. They could be sending you messages. But I feel like they're... If you haven't met this person already, you're going to meet this person very soon. This person is coming in quickly with this Knight of Cups energy. A Knight of Wands energy, excuse me. 
and I believe this person, they may be someone who is very thoughtful, very loving, very caring. You know, I feel like this person is here to help for some reason. With the Ten of Wands, we have the Tower. So I feel like you're carrying way too much, Libra. Something's going to fall. Something's going to collapse. You need to set your priorities wisely. Because I feel like there's going to be a missed appointment. There's going to be some priority that's missed or mixed up. And everything's just going to collapse. So when you're setting your priorities, when you're carrying the load, make sure you're doing it efficiently. You know, don't carry so much that you can't handle it. But I feel like it's all going to... Something is crumbling to show you that you don't have to carry all the priorities. You don't have to carry all the load um, by yourself. I feel like, like that's why this tower is coming in. What's this Queen of Swords? The Ten of Wands. This Queen of Swords is going to come in and help you pick up the pieces. This Queen of Swords. This could be male or female, but this Queen of Swords is coming in to help you pick up the pieces from this tower moment. It's so interesting. You have the, the, the Ten of Wands here, the tower, and then the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Wands again. And look how different this Ten of Wands is. Look, this Ten of Wands, they're carrying a heavy load. They can barely stand up straight. In this Ten of Wands, all the pieces have fell, but the Queen of Swords is coming in to help you pick up these pieces, to help you recover from, you know, this tower moment. Beautiful energy, Libra. Okay, Spirit, tell me more about this Seven of Swords. What is this Seven of Swords? Tell me more about this Seven of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. This Seven of Swords, someone's coming to take something from you because you didn't have enough to cover it. And that's why I was feeling like someone's coming to repossess something. Someone's coming to try to take something away from you. And it's because of lack of finances. Um, so that's the reason for that. So look out for that, Libra. Be prepared. What is this Eight of Wands? Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Okay, so yeah, this Queen is going to come in. Wow, you have more than one person coming in. You have options. You have a people around you who love and care about you, who want to help you. Libra, you have, wow. So this Queen of Wands is helping you take action. I feel like you're taking action with this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands is very confident that they can get the job done. They're very bold and assertive. You know, they are just here to do it you know um, this may also be a message that you receive from the Queen of Wands someone who has those attributes but someone's bringing you good news that may be this Queen of Wands bringing you good news tell me about this High Priestess Temperance okay with trusting the situation, with trusting yourself that you're going to make it through, you you do make it through it. You're going to make it through it just fine. And in fact, you're going to be in a, a better position after you go through it than before. Um, I feel like after you go through these tower moments and all of this, you know, chaos, I feel like you're going to be in a totally better position. You're going to have um, more happiness. You're going to feel more at ease um, because I believe you're cutting the cords, you know. Um, 
you're releasing something that was weighing you down. So you're going to you're going to have relief by trusting yourself. Okay, Libra. Who is this King of Cups? Tell me more about this King of Cups. The Nine of Swords. So this King of Cups I feel like this King of Cups, he comes in to help you, but I feel like you're really not interested. Um, I feel like you've like cut him out of the options, but I feel like this King of Cups, he's very interested, but you just aren't interested in them. You're doubtful that they're there for the right reasons. You're not giving them the time of day you know what is this ace of cups what is this ace of cups energy the two of cups wow okay so yeah not necessarily the king of cups but someone is giving you an offer that you're very motivated to move through i feel like someone one of these kings or queens you're moving towards but i feel like it's probably not the king of cups i feel like you're just not feeling them you're not motivated you you're doubtful that they're there for the right reasons but i feel like you are definitely moving into love someone's going to give you some kind of <clears throat> Jester, if you're not with somebody now, this is someone approaching you, someone sending you messages, offering you out on a date, offering you to um, some kind of proposal. And I feel like this is the one you want to take. This is the, you know, this is the love you want to pursue. Okay, tell me about the moon card, spirit. Tell me more about the moon. The two of pentacles, yes. I feel like with this moon card, with this moon card, you're understanding how to prioritize better. I feel like you're understanding how to deal with your finances, how to uh, juggle things more efficiently. I feel like this moon is giving you an understanding um, about how to do that. I've, I feel like you've learned a lot this coming month when it comes to finances. You learned a lot about yourself, about your spending, about you know other habits that you may have. But I feel like doing this juggling and then going through what you're going through, I feel like you're you're learning a lot. You're learning a lot about yourself. Yeah, definitely. We have the Hierophant. You're definitely learning a lot. You're learning big lessons when it comes to this month. And I feel like you're going to put a lot of those lessons into action, Libra. Um... So, yeah, you also have the justice on the bottom. So I feel like it's all going to work out in the end. Um, whatever you put into this is what you're going to get out of it. So I feel like if you put in a lot of effort, if you put in a lot of work, you're going to get that in return. All of that is going to come back to you tenfold. That's how I'm feeling about the situation, Libra. So I feel like with this is going to be a lot of great lessons a lot of great lessons okay let's take a look at some oracle cards January 15th through the 31st for Libra yeah you're, you're making big happy changes 
um, you may be going through turmoil, you may, you know, be kind of going through it at the moment, but I feel like the changes that, that are being made are putting you into the right direction. They're pointing you the right way um, by the time this, this month ends, Libra. So you're going to have big, happy changes. You're going to be in a better position. Um, you're not going to be lacking or have someone try to take your things, you know. Yeah, you're definitely ready. You're ready to move on. You're ready to strive. You're ready to just take things on if you believe in yourself. You know, if you believe, you're in a better position. Okay, let's see. Let's take, let's get some oracle cards for Libra. What else can we tell Libra spirit? Soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Yeah, you're, you're gaining great insight. You didn't get the hangman in here or the uh, hermit, but I feel like you're gaining a lot of wisdom. You're learning your lessons. You're, you know, really connecting. You're expanding. You're growing as a person. And we have Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Yes. Don't try to do too much at once, Libra. Doing too much at once is going to lead to another tower moment. You know, you can't do everything all at once. You have to take time. You have to do one thing at a time. Make one step. And you're one step closer to succeeding or to whatever you want to do. Okay. And let's see. <clears throat> let's get another message for Libra. Yeah, we have health. And watch your health, Libra. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my, my soul. Um, doing all this worrying, doing all this prioritizing or juggling or whatever it is can be very stressful. So you want to make sure to take, take care of yourself. Ground yourself. Watch your health. Take care of yourself this year. You know, Libra, that's what spirit is letting you know to, you know, not just go through the motions. Also remember to put yourself first and take care of yourself. Okay. Okay, that's what I have for you, Libra. Okay, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Uh, share, if you will. And um, if this reading doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, Libra, until the next reading, many blessings, love and light.